Hello everyone and welcome to another pivot stick figure tutorial. Today we are going to work on the stick figure builder. So let's start off by um, going through this hot bar at the top here. Not hot bar. Um, first we have new that allows you to uh, cr um, start a new uh, figure type. Uh, open which allows you to open a figure type that's already made. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, save allows you to save whatever you've made, which we haven't yet. Save as, same thing. Add to animation, which allows you to add it directly to the animation, which is kind of pointless. Um, so let's go back into the figure editor. So let's start off, uh, well, also options. Um, edit mode, which allows you to totally destroy lines. And undo, which allows you to undo anything you've done. Now, edit mode is toggleable, so you can toggle it on and off. So let's move on to the sidebar here. Um, add line allows you to add a line from any of the, any from from any of these points, and then once it's there, it's there. You can get rid of it by using the delete segment button. Add circle. The add circle button is the exact same thing as the add line button. Only instead, you add a circle instead of a line. So here we have sort of a wand almost. I don't know, <laughs> whatever you want it to be. Okay, now this button here um, is the toggle segment kind. So you can change a circle to a line or a line to a circle. Um, this can be very useful for, let's just say, you want to create a shape that had a, had a circle on it, and the circle was straight up and down, but you can't seem to get it right. Because it's a circle, then just change it to a line, make it straight up and down, and change it back to a circle. Really basic. So I'm just going to use it mode here. Okay, uh, so next what we have to do is um, we're going to use the change segment thickness button which allows you to change the thickness of any segment you're selecting. But you don't want to make the wand part any thicker, but we do want to make the end. <laughs> Ta -da. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. So the next thing we're going to take a look at, you can't use your arrow keys, you have to use these. Next thing we're going to take a look at is the duplicator, which allows you to duplicate a segment and place it again which can be useful in some cases, but in some cases it can't. So get used to it, pal. Um, the next thing we're going to take a look at is the uh, static slash dynamic segment. This allows you to make uh, any part of, or any segment uh, static, which um, I'll show you what that means in a minute. If I add it to the animation, then uh, if you take a close look here, I can't m I can't bend the end of the wand, but I can turn what version it's facing. That's because I made the circle segment dyna or st bleh, static instead of dynamic. Dynamic, like this segment right here, is dynamic. Like this whole stick man is dynamic. Nothing in it is static because they want you to use the stick man to the fullest. So that's the um, static and dynamic button. That's pretty much the entire stick figure builder. Um, you can really go far with this. Um, one of the things um, I'm gonna have an advanced tutorial to use these to really good advantages to make you know like invisible lines and whatnot. But that's in a future tutorial. So for now, I'm gonna say goodbye. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helped you. And uh, stick around because I'm gonna be releasing an advanced stick figure builder uh, next Monday. But this Saturday I'm probably gonna do. Yeah, I'm n this Saturday I'm gonna do a frame count. Uh, tutorial. It's going to be shorter than this one, but it's going to be a shorter one on Saturday. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.